Petaling Jaya, the first satellite town in Malaysia, has rapidly developed into the regional center for the state of Selangor. One impact of this swift economic expansion is massive traffic congestion on almost all the main streets in Petaling Jaya. Five major highways provide access to and through the Petaling Jaya area, namely the Federal Highway, Damansara Puchong Expressway, the New Klang Valley Expressway, New Pantai Expressway, and the Sprint Highway. Highway accessibility has increased the number of vehicles entering the city. On any given day, approximately 450 to 500,000 vehicles enter the city of Pataling Jaya. As such, the level of service in the main arteries is severely constrained with major intersections operating down 51% to level F during peak hours. These include the LDP, the Sprint Highway, NPE near PJS1, Pasiaran Surian Kote Damansara, and the Federal Highway. Where rail-based public transport is concerned, only small sections of Petaling Jaya are served by LRT and commuter train services. In addition, Due to a shortage of parking spaces and an inefficient feeder service, usage of this mode of transport is limited. Where public bus transport is concerned, many areas are not covered by buses and inefficient services compound the issue. Transportation planning will be based on an integrated transport system via land use planning approaches for transit-oriented development TOD mixed development and to enhance smoother traffic flow. An improved public transport system will be implemented. To resolve traffic flow problems, City Council carried out a study on transport in 2012 as well as several traffic studies in four zones in the city. These zones were Kote Damansara Tropicana and Subang Airport Road. Section 13, Petaling Jaya Selatan and Kalana Jaya, and Section 52 in the city center. The action plan to resolve traffic problems is based on an integrated planning concept to include land usage, transport, and traffic flow. Development restrictions will be determined by existing infrastructure capabilities as well as increased capabilities from remedial measures carried out based on traffic impact studies. The fixing of plot ratio development will be based on infrastructure capability already laid out in the Section 13 Special Area Plan, Petaling Jaya Local Plans 1 and 2, and the PJU PJS, Section, and SS Special Area Plans. Measures already identified include the following. Construction of roads and upgrading of existing roads. Construction of interchange. Upgrading of existing tunnels. Traffic management schemes such as one-way system. Solutions to traffic problems are based on integrated land usage and transportation planning for the four zones where studies were done. These are Kota Damansara Tropicana and Subang Airport Road. Solutions to traffic problems cover 17 projects to be implemented in the short, medium and long term. The total project cost is estimated at 85 million ringgit. Eight projects have already been completed. The project to upgrade the intersection between Pasiaran Surian and Pasiaran Mahogani and the construction of an alternate road at Kalana Idaman are currently in the final stages of completion. Section 13 The solution involves 10 major projects to be implemented within five years at a total cost of 69 million ringgit. Projects already completed include the four traffic lights intersection at Rothman's Roundabout. Other projects include the extension of Jalan Harapan and the interchange come flyover in Jalan Datu Abu Bakar. 
Petaling Jaya Selatan and Kelana Jaya. The solution to traffic problems involves three major projects. One, upgrading of the NPE LDP intersection by replacing the existing four-phase traffic light system with a two-phase system. Two, construction of a connecting road from Jalan PJS 1 stroke 15 to Majujaya. And three, upgrading the exit road from NPE to Jalan Templer. It is also proposed to upgrade Othman Roundabout to a signalized intersection as a short-term remedy to ease traffic congestion during peak hours. Section 52, City Center The solution to traffic congestion was to implement one-way systems at Jalan Utara, Jalan Timo, Jalan Barat, and part of Jalan Sultan. The measures implemented enable smooth and easy flow at intersections and make for easier control of traffic congestion during peak hours. The major infrastructure improvement works will be financed by ISF contributions, infrastructure contributions, and development charges. It is estimated that ISF contributions will amount to 28.5 million ringgit. Infrastructure contributions to 66.7 million ringgit and development charges to 41.3 million ringgit. Transportation planning will utilize the Transit Oriented Development Approach TOD. High intensity development will be concentrated or focused on the transit area of public transport to reduce dispersion of the city urban sprawl, traffic congestion, and air pollution. There are 13 TOD locations within 400 meters of LRT, MRT, and commuter train stations with a permitted maximum 6 plot ratio. The granting of plot ratio for TOD areas in Petaling Jaya is subject to compliance with specified guidelines and technical requirements. To encourage the use of public transport, four park and ride facilities will be built on transmission lines reserve land near the Asia Jaya, Taman Paramount, Taman Bahagia, and Kalana Jaya LRT stations. In future, transport planning and traffic management will be based on the concept of carbon reduction in line with the Low Carbon Cities Framework LCCF. One strategy to be adopted is to encourage commuters to change their mode of transport from private vehicles to public transport while promoting the use of bicycles and pedestrian activity on walkways as choice of transport options. Each project that is implemented will be gauged and evaluated using the carbon calculator in order to reduce the intensity of carbon emissions in Patalingjaya.